The smart entry and push button start features on select models provide exceptional convenience. First off, you can open the windows and vent the cabin while you're still walking up to the vehicle. When you're within about 50 feet, press and release the unlock button. And then press it again and hold it. The windows and the moonroof, if equipped, will open right up and let the fresh air in. Now let's take a look at that smart entry feature. As long as the smart entry remote is within about 32 inches of the driver's or front passenger's door handle, you can unlock the door by simply touching the inside of the handle. It unlocks after a brief delay for signal validation. Note that if you touch the handle when wearing gloves, the system may respond more slowly or may not unlock the doors at all. And if you don't want to take a glove off, you can just always push the unlock button on the remote. Another thing to be aware of is that the smart entry remote's range is affected by radio waves from other equipment, like cell phones, laptops, or tablets. So it's a good idea to carry your smart entry remote apart from these types of electronic devices. Once you're in the driver's seat, the engine can be started by just stepping on the brake pedal and pressing and releasing the engine start-stop button. There's no need to press the accelerator. The starting process will be completed automatically. Incidentally, if you want to just turn on accessory mode without starting the engine, you can just press the engine start-stop button without stepping on the brake. To turn the engine off, make sure the shift lever is in park and press the engine start-stop button again. In an emergency, the engine can be shut down by holding the button for at least one and a half seconds. After leaving the vehicle, the doors can be locked by touching the sensor on the outside of the driver's or front passenger's door handle. Again, assuming you've got the smart entry remote with you. Instead of a rubber button, this vehicle has a sensor located where the ridges are, on top of the handle. When you touch it to lock the car, just make sure you're not also touching the sensor on the inside of the door handle. And if the smart entry remote has been left in the vehicle, the doors won't lock until the remote has been removed. This prevents you from being locked out. This vehicle also has a walk-away auto-lock feature. When it is enabled, you can skip the part about touching the door handle sensor. It's easy to set up. With the vehicle in park and the ignition on, go to the home screen on the display audio and touch settings. Then select vehicle and door window setup. Choose Walk Away Auto Lock and touch On. Then you're all set to go. When you exit the car with the remote and all of the doors and tailgate are closed, the car will beep once while you're still close by. And then when you've walked at least eight feet away, it'll beep again to signal that it's all locked up. So listen for both beeps to be sure it's locked.